everybody. Welcome to English for You. I'm Kat, and I'm Darius, and we are here today talking about gardening.、Mm-hmm. Do you like to garden, Dar- Darius? I actually love to garden.、Awesome. I love working with plants and the dirt being outside. It's really fun. Oh, that's awesome! What about you? I I would like to garden, but I think I haven't had very much opportunity, especially living in Taipei. There's not a lot of outdoor space to actually do gardening, but I would like、true. to do it sometime. I'm lucky. I have a balcony, so I'm able to just throw a lot of plants out there. Oh, fantastic!、Yeah. <laughs> I think we mostly use our balcony for. Trash. So I don't think I don't <laughs> think a, I don't think a garden would fit well with that sort of, yeah. But、um, anyway, I mean, there are certain plants that are easier to garden than other ones. Do you know of any that might be like you know really good for beginners?、Mm, yeah, I think like it's called a spider plant. Oh no, kidding! It looks like a spider, but it's green, and it's you just basically water it every once in a while, and then it'll have these little babies that look like baby spiders. That sounds very easy. Very、indeed. easy. Nice. Or a cactus. Okay. Yeah, a cactus. <laughs> Those are a little bit hard to kill, right? <laughs> Unless you don't water it and leave it in the dark. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't abuse your cactus, <laughs> of course. So、um, I think we're actually talking about a specific plant which you can grow for food today, and it's one that's really really popular、mm-hmm. with people for gardening because it grows really well. So let's go ahead and find out what that plant might be by going to our article. All right. Reading. Making the garden minty fresh. Lisa is in a gardening center. Hi, I'd like some advice about growing mint in my garden. You've made a good choice. Mint grows well in gardens, and you don't need to pay too much attention to it. A friend told me it can take over your garden if you're not careful, though. That's true. Its roots like to spread out. You'll sometimes find it growing a long way from where you planted it. What can I do about that? One thing you can do is plant the seeds in a container. You could also circle its growing area with mesh. Water can flow out through the mesh, but the roots won't spread. Thanks for the tips. Do I need fertilizer to help mint grow? Not really. It will grow well in moist soil. But don't water it too often. Also, mint grows best in partial shade. Great! I'll take these spearmint seeds and these plant pots. Lisa pays for her items. All right. So our article title today is called "Making the Garden Minty Fresh."、Mm-hmm. So we're talking about mint. So mint is this lovely plant which you might be familiar with, and it's an herb that has like leaves with a very strong and fresh smell, a really nice taste.、Um, they make it into like candy. It、mm-hmm. goes into gum and toothpaste and all that sort of thing. So、um, when we say, you know. What is the taste of mint? We say it's usually minty. I like to think of mint as being kind of cold, spicy. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I feel like that's a good way to describe cold, it. Cold, spicy.、Mm, yeah,、so. I feel like mint is everywhere. Whether it's your toothpaste, your gum, ice cream, drinks. Absolutely, and I love mint. I、yeah. do too.、Mm. So, how are we starting off today? What are we seeing with this mint? So we're going to start our article today with Lisa. Lisa is in a gardening center. Okay, so this person named Lisa, and I wonder what she's doing in a gardening center. Well, she says, "Hi, I'd like some advice about growing mint in my garden." So it seems like she's talking to somebody who's probably an expert in gardening, and、mm-hmm. what she wants is this thing called advice. And advice is a noun that means you are, if you're giving advice, you are suggesting somebody or recommending something to somebody. Like it's、um, advice is what you tell someone that you think will be the best thing to do. Like if I say, Darius, I need some advice on my love life. Maybe <laughs> he will tell me,、um, I don't know, like. Uh, break up with your partner, or maybe he will say <laughs> you should do this for them. Like the best thing to do is what he will tell me. Hopefully,、mm-hmm. yeah. And an example of advice in a sentence might be: Andy wasn't sure how to ask the girl he liked on a date, so he asked his father for some advice. That's、mm-hmm. probably a good idea. That is someone who's experienced definitely can give you better advice、mm. most times.、Mm-hmm. 
So since Lisa is looking for advice, she's going to talk to the clerk. So this is someone who is working in the garden center and probably has lots of good advice to give her. So the clerk says, "You've made a good choice. Mint grows well in gardens, and you don't need to pay too much attention to it." That's nice. Yeah, right. We all want those type of things.、Mm -hmm. So we have a phrase, "Pay attention to." So when we pay attention to something, that means we're giving all of our focus to this thing or to this person. We're going to focus in on it and do what we have to do. But the clerk says you don't have to pay too much attention, meaning you don't need that much focus on it. Ah, so you don't have to spend that much time.、Mm -hmm. Sounds like a very easy plant. And Lisa says, "Well, I guess there's a bad side to it too, though, because she says a friend told me it can take over your garden if you're not careful, though." Huh. So yeah, even though mint is easy to take care of, it can take over your garden. And take over means it's like conquering, or it could take too much space. So you plant mint in one place, and then it ends up growing in like four <laughs> other places, and that means that the other plants can't grow in your garden. So it's pushing out other things that want to grow there, and it's crowding your garden. So it sounds like it could grow a little too well if you're not being careful about、mm -hmm. it. Exactly.、Mm. So the clerk responds, "That's true. Its roots like to spread out." So we have the power word here, and we have root, which is a noun. And roots are at the bottom of the plant, and this is what keeps it inside of the ground. So that way, the plant isn't flying around or just drifting on the ground. We like to think of it as maybe like the legs. This also helps bring the water from the ground up throughout the plant, so it can stay healthy. So an example of this would be the roots of the old trees are now above the ground. Hmm. Okay. So then we have this other one saying its roots like to spread out. So if you have the legs of the plant that are spreading, well, spread is a verb that means it moves from being closer together to being farther apart.、Mm -hmm. So maybe the roots, the legs per se, will get longer and longer, and they won't just grow in one direction. They'll grow out in many directions, away from the center. Especially if you say something spreads out, that means that it's going from one central. Point out in every direction, or at least you know a number of different directions,、um, instead of just staying in one spot.、Mm -hmm. So things that might be spread might be like people. If people spread out, that means that there's a bunch of people in one place, and then they all go in different places. Or、um, something you might spread on something, for example, butter or jam on toast. You can spread that and make it cover your toast. Or something that might spread is a disease. Like a disease can spread from one person. Person to another to many many more people, and an example of that might be,、um, well, this disease spreads from person to person very easily. Yeah.、Um, so continuing with our article, so yeah, it's true that the roots of mint like to spread out, and that could be a problem. And the clerk says you'll sometimes find it growing a long way from where you planted it.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lisa wants more advice. She says, "What can I do about that?" Hmm. Good question. When the clerk says, "One thing you can do is plant the seeds in a container." Oh, that's a smart idea.、Mm -hmm. So planting in a container, and a container just means something for holding things inside of it. So I guess it would hold the mint inside and keep the roots from spreading out like that. For example, if you put a box full of dirt in your garden, and then the the roots can't go outside of that box. Or another kind of container is a bag. Pots or suitcases, anything that can hold other things, is known as a container. It's a pretty broad word.、Mm -hmm. So the clerk continues to say, you could also circle its growing area with mesh. So mesh is a fabric that kind of looks like a net, something that people use to catch fish. So there's usually maybe big holes or small holes, usually to maybe let bigger things go or smaller things go. So with the mint, we can use the mesh to keep it in one certain area. Hmm, yeah, that's a good idea. And why is mesh a good idea? Well, the clerk goes on to say, water can flow out through the mesh, but the roots won't spread. Okay, so that means that water can go out and the roots cannot. So we have this word flow, and this flow verb applies particularly to water because it, flow means that it's a liquid that's going from one place to another, usually because of gravity. That means like it's going to go from a high place to a low place, 
or、um, a tall place to a short place, something like that. So water, of course, is something that flows all over the world. It could flow from your sink, it could flow down a river, or it could flow、uh, from a glass into your mouth if you're drinking water.、Um, other things that flow might not necessarily be quite as thin as water, like honey is very, very thick, <laughs> but it still flows, just slower. A little or, slower. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs>、uh, or or your blood, your blood is constantly flowing through your body. In fact, it's probably doing it right now. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> An example sentence of flow might be: The water flowed from the cup into the sink as Tara poured it out.、Mm -hmm. hmm. So now Lisa says, "Thanks for the tips. Do I need fertilizer to help mint grow?" So typically, when you're gardening or planting, you would want to use something called fertilizer, and this is something that we add to plants or the soil that will help plants grow. This can be something that's natural,、um, or this can be something that's made in like a, fact, a factory. So it can be maybe a liquid, or maybe it can be something that is a solid that you break down and put over the soil. Hmm. I've heard that、um, people often use like animal poo as fertilizer. This is true. That will、uh, be manure, and it's not <laughs> good smelling. <laughs> it's not good smelling, but apparently it's very, very healthy for、it、soil、is. and plants. It's natural, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you can't eat things that aren't natural. So, exactly, so recycle then, it. You know,、yeah. and if you think about it, I'm sure in the gardens that are out that come to the supermarkets. I'm sure an animal may have、mm -hmm. done its business there.、Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's why you should always wash your fruits and vegetables、always. before you eat them, please. <laughs> also, it gets any bugs that are in there out, because <laughs> sometimes you will find that. But anyway, so、uh, Lisa is asking, does she need does she need fertilizer to help mint grow? And actually, the answer might be kind of surprising. The clerk says, not really. It will grow well in moist soil, but don't water it too often. Okay, so she doesn't. Have to spend every day watering the mint, or you know,、uh, making sure it's in a very wet climate or something like that. It just has to be in moist soil. So moist is this adjective which、um, means a little bit wet, just wet enough to feel that it's wet, but not really wet enough to drip out. So if you、mm -hmm. pick up a handful of the soil, it's not going to start dripping water from your hand, but you will feel that your hand has water on it. So, like,、um, I don't know, what else is a moist thing? Maybe your towel after you dry yourself <laughs> off in the shower. There's other words for moist as well, which are like damp or、mm. steamy. Steamy applies to like hot things, like a pot of water that's boiling, or maybe Taiwan in the summer,、um, <laughs> or something soggy, which is usually kind of a、yeah. not so not so great word. It means that something that's supposed to be dry has gotten wet, like、mm. mm, your bread.、Ugh. If your bread gets soggy and it's kind of wet feeling, it's not so. Great. I do not like that at all. <laughs> I do not like soggy bread either. Yeah, and actually, surprisingly, there's a lot of people who don't like the word moist. Yeah, it's just one of those words that you hear it over and over. It just kind of.、Uh. <laughs> I think people have kind of a a seeing feeling from hearing moist. They don't like it. <laughs> They like moist. But、um, anyway, I mean, it, we're using it in this article, so I guess、yeah. we're fine with it. <laughs> anyway, so the example sentence of moist. The grass and the ground were moist from the water that had collected on them overnight. Yeah. So yeah. All right, and just for fun, moist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the last piece of advice that the clerk gives Lisa is also mint grows best in partial shade. Uh huh. So we have a word here, partial. We use this.、Um, it's an adjective, and we use this to describe something that only needs a little bit of something and not the full amount. It does not need all of it. And we have that paired with the noun, which is shade. And shade is an area that has that is taken away from direct light or direct sunlight. It's usually a little darker and also cooler. So when we put those together, partial shade, we have something that the plant needs. This is where the plant can survive or live in places where there's a little bit of sun, but if there's also shade and not direct light, it will also do just as well.、Hmm. Okay. So an example sentence. Everyone stood in the shade and waited until they could cross the street. Yeah. All right. So partial shade, I think, is kind of a gardening term as well, right?、Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So you. So if a plant is said to be in. 
partial shade, then、um, the plant, you know, will do well in the sun in the morning. But in you know the late afternoon, the sun gets really, really hot. So it needs, you know, maybe as the as the shadow from the sun moves around, the plant should be in that shadow、um, for part of the day.、Mm-hmm. And so I guess you know you plant it near a tree or plant it near your house. Um, anywhere where a shadow will be cast in the late afternoon. So yeah,、mm-hmm. and there's other different kinds of plants that will do really well in partial shade, like、uh, begonias. If you guys、oh. would like some gardening advice, <laughs> you can plant some beautiful begonia flowers. You can look those up after you are done with your class. All right. So yeah, but now we're still talking about mint. Of course, this very easy thing to grow, and Lisa is very happy with all the advice that the clerk has given her. So she says, "Great." I'll take these spearmint seeds and these plant pots.、Mm-hmm. So it sounds like she's picked out a particular kind of mint. There's、mm-hmm. different kinds of mint, of course, but、um, spearmint is one that's、uh, known for being very sweet and it has a nice flavor. I think they often use it in like desserts or gum.、Um, like they will grind up the leaves and kind of make. Mm, make like a mint flavoring with it, maybe some mint oil or something, and they put、mm-hmm. it in toothpaste. They put it in shaving cream, maybe like shampoo, all sorts of things. And Lisa pays for her items, and so it looks like she's gonna go home, and she's probably going to、uh, start thinking about how to plant them. So that's the end of our article for today, and that means we're going to go to our first for you chat. For you chat. Okay, so our chat question today is all about gardening, of course.、Uh, so, have you ever tried to grow anything, and what happened? Have you ever tried to grow anything, Darius? Well, as I said earlier,、mm-hmm. I do enjoy plants and gardening, so the answer is yes. <laughs> Yay! I mean, of course. <laughs>、uh, actually, at my apartment, I have maybe around forty to fifty plants. What? Amazing! <laughs> so、oh、it's、gosh. not just on my balcony. I have a lot in my apartment as well. Wow! Ones hanging from like the ceiling area, dried flowers and water with with my shrimp and fish. There there are a lot of plants in、wow. my house. Wow! You, you you live in like a forest. That's <laughs> basically.、Awesome. I wanted my home to look like the botanical garden. You know, you wake、oh. up, it's fresh, and it's just like ah,、oh, so nice. Oh, that's fantastic! And they must clean the air really well Ex- too. They really do. I keep. Um, some in my room because there are some said that you should not keep them in your room because they will take the oxygen at night. But some will give off oxygen at night. That like, makes sense. Like the snake plant, for instance, I keep that one in my room because it's supposed to help you sleep well. Oh, really? Does it give off like a nice scent? No, it's just it just grows straight up, kind of like an arrow.、Um, mm-hmm. And uh, uh, unlike other plants, this plant does not take oxygen in the daytime, only、oh, at night. Whereas、okay. most plants. They will take the oxygen at night, so、oh. it's one of those things that they advise you to do. Put that type of plant in your house,、Gosh. well, in your、wow. bedroom. I could learn a lot from you. Wow, I, I I've learned a lot, but it has not always been that way.、Uh-huh. <laughs> um, really, I always like to experiment. I'm like, I'm going to take this seed and put it in with this seed and put them all together, and that's not really a good idea. Oh, I see. Because,、yeah. like I said, with the mint, sometimes the roots like to spread out, and the roots will take over other roots, and it wouldn't really help other plants, and so、oh. they would. Die. Oh shoot! But I've learned. I've learned from my mistakes. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like if you're able to maintain forty or fifty plants, you definitely have. It's one of those things that you just kind of you go with the flow and you just kind of watch the plants and see: do they like this much sun? Do they want more water? Do they want to be in this area?、Oh. So it's more like trial and error. Okay. And I definitely think in Taiwan, with the numerous flower markets, that I am very lucky. And sometimes、mm. I spend too much money. But <laughs> if you want to get some fresh herbs or flowers or even other kind of plants, even a tree, I、yeah. bought a tree once. <laughs>、oh, wow!、Uh, there are definitely places you can just walk around and buy those. Gosh, well, I mean, if you have to spend too much money on anything, I think spending too much money on plants is a good、right. way to go. Exactly. It's, yeah. It's nature. It gives something that I need. It's beautiful.、Mm-hmm. It's like why not? Yeah. It's not. I mean, I could spend it on ice cream, and I probably do as well. But <laughs> you know, plants are nice as well. Yes. So, what about you? I know you don't.、Hmm. You said you haven't had much experience、not、with it、much. or luck. I um well I I would love to have a garden but I have cats and I feel like they would eat 
all of it because <laughs> they just are, they love food. It doesn't matter what kind of food they like. Food that they should not like. Yeah. So yeah,、I'm... and I've seen plenty of videos of cats where they just see something and just knock it off. Like I don't want this here. Yeah, I would be afraid of that. So I'll have to figure out a way to grow them safely away from my、mm, cats.、Mm-hmm. Um, Destructive tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you can find a community garden of some sort. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, yeah. I will try that. I will. I'm inspired now. I'll definitely have to think about that. <laughs> yes. All right. So that we are、uh, just about out of time, but we're gonna see you guys back here for day two and more from Lisa and her mint garden. See you tomorrow. Bye. Making the garden minty fresh. Lisa is in a gardening center. Hi, I'd like some advice about growing mint in my garden. You've made a good choice. Mint grows well in gardens, and you don't need to pay too much attention to it. A friend told me it can take over your garden if you're not careful, though. That's true. Its roots like to spread out. You'll sometimes find it growing a long way from where you planted it. What can I do about that? One thing you can do is plant the seeds in a container. You could also circle its growing area with mesh. Water can flow out through the mesh, but the roots won't spread. Thanks for the tips. Do I need fertilizer to help mint grow? Not really. It will grow well in moist soil, but don't water it too often. Also, mint grows best in partial shade. Great. I'll take these spearmint seeds and these plant pots. Lisa pays for her items. Vocabulary review. Advice. Barry asked the librarian for advice on which books to use for his school project. Root. The tree was tall and reached into the sky, while its roots reached deep into the ground. Spread. The new chain of stores started in Taipei, but soon spread across the country. Flow. Water flows down from the top of the mountain and into the lake. Moist. The air was moist, and small drops of water formed on the windows. Shade. We had a picnic in the park under the shade of some trees. 智慧小补帖 Container. Partial. Triple W.English.Cu.Net